Hi guys, welcome to the third uh, tutorial on uh, XML. And let's proceed with the same code. Um, so we had uh, created uh, this data music sort with two albums. And um, I'm going to talk about elements in this video. Elements are basically each album here is an element. Okay? So I'm going to show you an uh, easier way to create let's say an album uh, name or an album instead of putting categories for each album we can take those out and create names for those albums okay so we have two ways of doing this either with categories or we can just simply go here and create name sorry name and here we can type the black album and here as well name name okay you can do it both you can do it both ways um, and I think this is uh, this way is easier instead of using categories and um, here it should be Exodus now let's see if this works let me run this in Chrome and there it is okay it's working fine perfect awesome now in this uh, way uh, the elements are still the same okay so each album is an element whenever we talk about elements you know that we're talking about this now I'm gonna show you how um, another XML file looks like from the web uh, we already created our XML files, but now I'm, I'm going to show you a new one from, it's a new example from the 3 schools, so you can see how an XML file um, will look like. And to go there, just type W3Schools and XML uh, and then uh, simple.xml. Okay, so this is a very, very um, cool example of what uh, an XML file should look like. You have a breakfast menu, so this is a menu. Then you have, as you can see here, um, the food element, the first one, okay, with the name, it's a Belgian, uh, Belgian waffles. Then we have the second element, okay, food again, another one, so three, four, five element uh, foods um, and then we close uh, breakfast menu okay so this is like basically uh, a menu and this is what an XML from that menu uh, should look like uh, with the information of the menu and that's this is basically it uh, later on in the in the course I'm going to show you how to use or how to grab XML uh, information uh, or data from other websites, popular websites, uh, through uh, RSS feeds. Okay, RSS is a way to use XML to grab information from another um, website. I'm going to show you how to do all that later on. And if you have any questions, just send me a message or post your um, questions in the comment section. Okay, bye.